hello. Thank you for joining me. I am Lizette Falkway. Now, today I'm going to discuss a very touchy subject. And I'm going to talk about two pointers, and they normally go hand in hand. One is a phase, and the other one is judgment. Now, now that I have your attention, before you know it, you are going to judge me today. And you're going to say, no, Lizette, I'm not so sure about that. But let me tell you this. When we think about a phase, the first thing we go is judgment. Why would that person have an effect? Do they know how they hurt that person? And don't they feel anything about other people? But here's the truth. Most of affairs are born out of insecurities. Not feeling good enough. Not feeling emotionally met. And so we can continue with that list. And you can say, yeah, well, is it, but that's excuses. But hold on. Immediately we go over to judgment. Now, let me tell you this. Are you ready for it? I had an affair. Yes, you've heard right. I had an affair. I had an affair with my phone. I had an affair with my work. I had an affair by cleaning the house. And when I say this, you go, oh, but that's not a affair, isn't it? Isn't it an escapism of having commitment to the relationship and having a good quality conversation or quality time spent with the loved ones? And now can you see how quickly you start judging me? You go, Lizette, what are you talking about? I don't like the way the conversation is going. But here's the thing. We tend to think and we only label which we find suitable for us. And according to that, we will judge. So because I feel a fear with a, someone else when whilst we are in a relationship, that's an affair. So that's okay. But neglecting my partner in a relationship or neglecting my children or the people around me, we don't see that as an affair. The mere fact that I commit to a relationship i.e. a relationship to my partner, a relationship to my children, a relationship to the people I love, the people I support, and the people I have a I'm in with a team. If I take time out of that, when I committed to be there, that's an affair. So why don't we judge the same way when people are not available, when they're not doing the performing the job the way they should, or why don't we judge people when they neglect the children emotionally? Or why don't we judge people when they don't spend quality time with their loved ones? It's still very difficult for me when I hear about friends and family, which the husband goes on a, a hunters and weekend or a holiday, and then she takes the children and they have a holiday at the sea. Or now she's going to go away for two weeks and her partner is leaving for another just different des destination. Where's the commitment of the relationship? And please don't misunderstand me. It do happen where we have to have and do different things at some time or point in time. But when we get to quality time spent, when we have that quality time spent, shouldn't it be with people we committed to, whether it's our team, our partners, our children, our loved ones? Or should we just live our life on our own? I can see your face. Right now you're like, this is, it. This is not quite what we, we, will, we want. We don't want that type of motivation on a Monday morning. It's the best time to talk about it. Because before you make the next mistake for the next week and judge people for not being there when you need them. Your team mate who's busy having a smoke break right now, is having a break with his smoke break if it's a longer than what it's allowed to take the time. Because he's taking time away from quality time for a perform high performance team. You're spending time on your phone whilst you watch TV. Think about it. Are you really watching TV? And you go, is it, but I can multitask. <laughs> no, you can't. It has been proven that multitask doesn't exist. Your brain, in very short split seconds, move between the one and the other. 
So when hubby starts laughing, then you quickly look up to just make sure, what am I missing? What connection do you have there then while spending time on your phone? So yes, today I want to urge you to take away your judgment hat. Throw it out by the window because we do not know what, how we walk in other people's shoes. We haven't been there. We do not know what's happening behind the scenes. So the next time you hear somebody say, I had an affair, <laughs> take off your judgment hat. You do not know whether that other person had an affair with their phone or their uh, work or they were neglected or they were physical or emotionally abused. Take off your judgment hat. But at the same time, start seeing an affair, not just a third party relationship, but start seeing it with the optics we having an affairs with. And start deciding and make the decision today that you will commit or spend quality time to the things that you've committed to, to the people you've committed to and the life you've committed to. Life is not about judgment. It's not about having an affairs or not. Life is about choosing to spend quality time to the people around you, those who you committed to and want to live a life and do not want to spend another day without them or lose them. It's not about things. It's about love, life, and relationships. Now, today, I urge you to take some time out, take some stock. Look inwardly and start eliminating everything you think you have an affair with. Lift that judgment hat and start being more kind to people. Start spreading the news of love and hope and start playing the role of an understanding, committed person in anything where we commit ourselves to. Huge difference, isn't it? So yes, I'm proud to say that I have had a few affairs that taught me a few lessons, but at the same time, I got rid of a lot of my affairs. And today I can say I'm spending quality time when it's needed to. I can spend my time on my phone. I can spend my time on cleaning the house, but not when people that I care for are around me. May you make the right choices today and choose hope, love, and relationships. Thank you for joining me once again. I am Lizette Falkway.